Hey everybody, it's Thursday. It's time for your Thursday thought. Um, my thought for you this Thursday is simply that sometimes uh, buyers and sellers are hesitant to have a conversation with, um, with a professional. And so let's address the sellers real fast and then we'll address the buyers where we'll spend most of the time in this video. Um, sellers sometimes are, are maybe are considering uh, selling their house. Maybe they're sitting here in the fall of 2019 thinking that they're going to sell in the spring of 2020. Um, and they kind of want to know what they can do to start preparing their house, but they're afraid that if they reach out to a, uh, a realtor or somebody else that, you know, they're going to be bombarded, that they're, they're going to... Um, that they're going to be trapped into something. And, uh, and I just want to let you all know that that's like really the furthest from the truth. Um, you know, my job as a realtor is to come in and consult and to educate, to provide my uh, expertise, my experience, my perception uh, on what you can do to really net the most. And I think having a kind of a long-term, you know, six-month plan is a perfect time to start a conversation with a realtor so we can be sure to net you the most money uh, when it comes time to closing. Um, so then what I, where I see this really common is um, with buyers who are hesitant to talk to a lender. And uh, I've been really thinking about this recently as I've been going through it again. And that, and it makes sense, you know, having someone who get down on a really nitty gritty granular level of your finances and really kind of, you know, evaluate them uh, to see if you are essentially, um, uh, a, you know, a good risk to take. Um, that you know, that's something that the the banks and underwritings do. So I understand some of that hesitancy. You know, exposing your financial world to somebody, somebody you may not have you know even ever met before, is you know a lot to ask, a lot of trust involved in that. So I guess here is kind of like the the industry side of it is that knowing if if home ownership is a goal of yours, knowing what you can afford, knowing what we need to do to get you to the, to a point where you can afford what you want. Um, and also to have a really good solid offers and to have an absolutely smooth transaction when it comes to the financial piece, um, it is critical to kind of talk to that lender. And um, again, I understand the kind of the hesitancy and maybe even a little of the, the fear that's around that, but I can't tell you how many times it's happened that someone is interested in buying a home, they're looking at homes on my mobile app or they're looking at homes on my portal, maybe they find something on Zillow they really like, I take them to see it, they love it, it's perfect for them, they wanna get an offering because they don't wanna lose it and our finances aren't lined up. And this has happened to me probably a dozen times over the past 10 years. And that always makes it really tough. And it just puts us in a, in a, in a, in a, in a poor negotiating position. You don't save as much because now you're scrambling just to find any lender rather than the lender that's gonna save us and help us the most. Um, and then also sometimes going through that process, there are things that come up that need to be fixed on, the, on the, the financial profile before we can move ahead with the loan. Sometimes we need to get a co-signer or maybe get a gift letter or something on those lines to really make everything go through. And it saves us so much um, hassle and headache and uh, stress when we can just knock that piece off in the beginning and kind of get you fully approved um, and know what we, know what we need um, in the beginning. Uh, also saves you a ton of money in my estimation and based on my experience. And here's the, you know, the real kicker is that, you know, it never, it doesn't cost you anything to have a conversation with a lender. It'll give you a much better idea of what you need um, and what you need to do. And then um, also it just sets us up for, sets us up for uh, just a, a lot more success. And so uh, my thought or my recommendation is that if you are all considering um, you know, buying a home really does not got that financial piece because it is the critical piece. Not having your loan lined up is like going to the grocery store without your wallet. Um, you're, you're essentially, you know, walking down the aisles looking at all the great food with no ability to really pursue anything. Um, and so, um, never worth the conversation. And also I would say that lenders have seen everybody from, you know, the people who are on the, on the high risk side of lending and all the people to are the, you know, the golden borrowers and they've worked with them to get them to where they need to be to accomplish their goals. And the big thing to remember is that a lender gets paid when you close on your house. So they want to see you get there. So they really are on your team and having that conversation with them, uh, is the best early on in this early on in the deal is the best way to, uh, have that. So sorry for the long video, but I just wanted to address that because I'm kind of going through it again now. Um, having the conversation with the professionals well ahead of when you actually want to purchase is super, super critical. Thanks everyone for tuning in and we'll see you next week on next week's Thursday Thought.